The exciting thing about soups is they are the closest thing to your stomach. And that's why we uh, just have this love of soup, uh, especially in cold weather or if we're feeling a little, uh, little under the weather. Soups are, are the medicinal go-to meal and have been since uh, forever. You'll want to crush your, your garlic and let that rest prior to sauteing that. We also have uh, our butter pre-measured. You're not going from the cutting board to the cupboard to the refrigerator. It's all right here. We're gonna saute our garlic and our uh, leeks. And our leeks, there's a trick here that cut the end off, cut the back leaves off, slice it down the center, rinse it as you open it up kind of accordion style. You get some dirt trapped in those, uh, those leaves and this is just a, a very easy, fast way to make sure that you keep your soup um, pure. Then you will uh, cut your leeks. Once you have your garlic rested, you can use a gadget, which I'm big into gadgets, or you can cut your garlic um, with a knife and uh, basically uh, dice up your garlic. You add your uh, garlic and your leeks to your butter. You wanna keep the temperatures lower, and depending on your cook's source, you'll have to kind of play with this a little bit and get the heat established. When we're cooking uh, from a holistic aspect, we're trying to just warm these vegetables up in butter. If you can do this recipe in a pot this size, as opposed to sauteing them in a saute pan, uh, then you can just add your ingredients um, to the same pan. We'll add the rest of the, the ingredients and simmer for, bring it to a boil, and then we'll simmer it for about 40 minutes and you're done. So it's a it's a very uh, simple, easy soup. Tomatoes? Uh, the tomatoes are either canned or fresh. Six cups of water. We have basil, chili powder, parsley flakes, smoked paprika, and salt and pepper, rice, beef bouillon, and bay leaf. And the reason you put these out in front of you, three or four of these, you keep the one that you're going to use in front. And then as you measure out your basil leaves, you put a teaspoon, or it must be called for, in each container. And then set this aside so that you know you've already put that in the container. Then your chili powder, set it aside. Same thing, bay leaf, and whatever spices you're using here, parsley. Um, the bouillon cube, leave them wrapped in the containers until you actually do use those, just to protect the bouillon. And the rice is ready to go. So now we have, this is ready for our next pot of soup. And this one is ready to go in. For the cabbage, we cut the bottom off. Set it aside just so that it's level on the surface. Cut it in half. Set this aside for the coleslaw later. And then do a pyramid cut to get that core out of there. And we don't want that thick cabbage in there. Once you have that in there, oh. Cut it in half. And then for the cabbage soup, all you have to do is chunk it. Remember, whatever sizes you cut, that is what you're biting into. But you really don't want a bigger, you know, too big of a piece of cabbage. So just cut them in chunks. And you're ready to go. Very easy, very simple. And I usually grab carrots that are about the size that I actually want to put in my soup. So it just makes the cutting faster and easier. And then this simmers, uh, you bring it to a boil and then you turn it down to a simmer. Uh, you can cover it or not, it doesn't really matter. And it goes for about 30 minutes and it's done.